CompTIA 80 plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.4 Given a scenario, install and configure motherboards, central processing units, and add-on cards. CPU Architecture CPU architecture influences the performance and functionalities of computing devices. At its core, CPU architecture encompasses various structural elements and design principles that govern the operation of processors. One of the fundamental components of CPU architecture lies in its instruction sets, which determines the different operations that a processor can perform or execute. Within this realm, Two primary families emerge as prominent players, x86 and x64. The terms x86 and x64 refer to different types of instruction sets used by CPUs. x86, also known as a 32-bit processor, was the predecessor to x64. It laid the groundwork for modern computing but had limitations in terms of overall performance. Despite its shortcomings, the x86 architecture was the standard for a considerable period, powering countless computers and devices around the world. x64, on the other hand, is a 64-bit architecture that has become very common in today's computers. This newer architecture offers significant improvements in overall performance compared to the older x86 architecture. Now that you understand the x86 and x64 designations, let's take a closer look at the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit CPUs. 32-bit CPUs are appropriately named as they support instructions that are 32 bits in size. And since you are so smart, I am sure you have already deduced that 64-bit CPUs are designed to handle 64-bit instructions. This has a trickle-down effect First up is the operating system. A 32-bit processor is compatible with a 32-bit operating system, while a 64-bit processor is compatible with both 64-bit and 32-bit operating systems. This trickles down a little further, with the same arrangement holding true for applications. A 32-bit operating system is capable of running a 32-bit application, while a 64-bit operating system is capable of running 64-bit applications and most 32-bit applications. Additionally, when it comes to memory, a 32-bit CPU will limit the amount of RAM that can be recognized by a computing system to 4 GB. 64-bit systems also have a limit, but the number is super large and not a real concern. Another significant development in CPU architecture is the emergence of advanced RISC machine, or ARM processors. ARM processors represent a departure from traditional CPU architectures, offering distinct advantages in energy efficiency and performance. These processors have garnered widespread adoption across various computing platforms, particularly in mobile devices. ARM processors are renowned for their energy efficiency, making them ideal for battery-powered devices like smartphones and tablets. Their design prioritizes power optimization, allowing for longer battery life without sacrificing performance. As a result, ARM-based devices can deliver impressive processing power while consuming minimal energy, enhancing user experience and mobility. When discussing CPU architecture, it is also important to consider the number of cores housed within a processor. A single core processor operates with just one processing unit, meaning it can only handle one task at a time. While single core processors were once standard in computing devices, they have gradually been replaced by multi-core alternatives due to their inherent limitations in multitasking and processing power. Now, let's turn our attention to multi-core processors. Unlike their single-core counterparts, multi-core processors incorporate multiple processing cores onto a single chip. These cores function independently of one another, enabling the processor to execute multiple tasks simultaneously. This parallel processing capability significantly enhances overall system performance and multitasking capabilities. 
by leveraging multiple cores, multi-core processors can distribute computing workloads more efficiently, resulting in faster task execution and improved responsiveness. Whether it's running demanding applications, handling numerous background processes, or multitasking between various tasks, multi-core processors excel in managing diverse workloads with greater efficiency and speed. Multi-threading stands as another integral feature intertwined with CPU architecture, revolutionizing how processors handle tasks. Fundamentally, multi-threading empowers a processor core to simultaneously execute multiple threads or sequences of instructions, thereby maximizing the utilization of CPU resources and bolstering responsiveness in multitasking environments. In a conventional setup, Imagine a scenario where a processor core is tasked with handling two separate threads simultaneously. Editing a document in Microsoft Word and loading web pages in Google Chrome. In this traditional configuration, the processor may experience idle periods while waiting for data retrieval or completing certain operations within each application. However, with the introduction of multi-threading capabilities, the processor can seamlessly switch between executing different threads, effectively filling these idle gaps with productive work. For instance, while one thread is processing text changes in Word, the processor can concurrently handle the task of loading web pages in Chrome. This agile multitasking ensures that the processor remains actively engaged, efficiently utilizing CPU resources even amidst diverse workloads. As a result, Multi-threading optimizes CPU utilization and enhances overall system efficiency and responsiveness, allowing users to seamlessly navigate between editing documents and browsing the web without experiencing delays or slowdowns. Lastly, modern CPU architectures frequently incorporate support for virtualization, a technology that enables the simultaneous operation of multiple virtual machines, or VM, on a single physical CPU. This capability is particularly valuable in enterprise environments where there is a need to efficiently utilize hardware resources while maintaining flexibility in deploying and managing IT infrastructure. Virtualization support in CPUs, such as Intel's virtualization technology, known as VT and AMD virtualization, known as AMD-V, play a crucial role in enabling efficient virtualization solutions. These technologies provide hardware-level support for virtualization, enhancing the performance and security of virtualized environments. With virtualization support, the CPU can efficiently allocate resources to multiple virtual machines ensuring optimal CPU utilization. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.